if you think, well, what's the elasticity of demand? If this is the demand function, what's the elasticity of demand? Well, the elasticity of demand would be partial d of p respect to p times p over d of p. Right? That's the elasticity of demand. Would we equal to p over n 1 minus f of p and then the derivative in, what's the derivative of 1 minus f of p? It's just minus little f of p. So that would be equal to minus, there's an n there, n's cancel. So minus p little f of p over 1 minus f of p. Okay, that would be our, that would be our elasticity. And so the elasticity of demand sort of depends on how many people there are on the margin relative to how many people are already buying, right? This is the fraction that are already buying the good, and this is how many people are on the margin. So if I'm at a point that's a very high density where there's lots of people, that's going to tend to be a point where demand is relatively elastic. Everybody understand that? That is the elasticity of demand compares the fraction of people, the number of people on the margin at that price. That's how many people are, that's the height of the density. And that's how many people are buying already. So it's how many people you have on the margin relative to the many people already buying. Okay? And so if we had a demand curve that looks like this, what you'd see if you, for example, had a new good that came in with a really high price, hardly anybody would be buying. As prices came down, maybe the number of people buying wouldn't go up very fast. But then when we get into the meat of the distribution here, there would be a big increase in the number of consumers, right? You can think about this as kind of like an adoption curve, having nothing to do with network effects. Later we'll talk about network effects and how network or bandwagon effects can create this kind of big elastic response. This is more just like saying, look, at very high prices, only people who really like this product are going to buy it. As prices come down, we get an increase in consumption. And that increase in consumption is going to get rapid if we get to a point where there are a lot of people on the margin, a lot of consumers coming in. One useful way to think about a model like this is, for example, to think about differences in income. And think about the income as they're differentiating this willingness to pay. This is a normal good. The willingness to pay is rising in income. And if I had an income distribution, that could trace out this demand curve. And what we'd, what we'd be saying here, if we get into up high, only the, the very rich people are going to be buying it. There aren't that many of them. And even as you come down and the, cut the threshold, maybe not that many come in. But when you get to the middle class, when there's a lot of people, maybe this is going to grow in popularity very quickly. So we can see a very elastic response. And it might look like this is like catching on, like it's a, fa like a fad or something like that. But it really just has to do with the fact that all these people are basically in the same spot. And they're all basically making the same decision. right? So what happens is, goods get cheap enough that they become something that the middle class wants and then the, the consumption rises very quickly you know so that might be a good model for something like household appliances or things like that where you might say it's not so much bandwagon related or network effect related it's probably operated for example in the growth of the cell phone market that one of the things that happened is they became cheap enough that the masses could afford them on the other hand, I think if you were want to study the cell phone market, you wouldn't want to ignore the kind of network side of the cell phone market that if my friends have a cell phone, that makes it more attractive for me to have a cell phone. So you might be able to make some mileage just with a simple model like this, but probably for something like cell phones, you'd want to add in that additional impact that would come from kind of the, the feedback effects from having other people come into the market, making me want to come in some kind of network effect, okay? Kind of similar to what we've talked about on some of the problems.